Tonight, we're learning more about the Lodge cast iron employee who was killed earlier this week in a tragic accident on site in South Pittsburgh. OSHA is investigating his death, but family and friends are reflecting on the life of Scott Moreland. Our Joy Dukes is live now with more on his story. Joy. Yeah, David, Scott Moreland would have been 50 years old today. A family and friends who are currently preparing for his funeral this weekend uh, say that uh, one thing about him in those 50 years remained constant. He lived his life serving others. He was a hero. And he was the hero we needed. A hero in every sense of the word. Um, he was a firefighter. He was a Marine. He was in the Navy. He was a priest. Um, he was a mechanized cavalry member, he was a musician, but to me, he was dad. That's how family and friends of volunteer firefighter Lieutenant Scott Moreland are remembering him. One of his biggest sayings was, saving lives saved him. Moreland, an active member of the South Pittsburgh Mountain Volunteer Fire Department. Almost 85 to 90 percent of the calls we got, he responded to. Died suddenly on Monday after an accident at the Lodge Cast Iron Distribution Center in South Pittsburgh. It, it was extremely emotional. His daughter, Star Dukes, says it was news she was devastated to hear. All I can remember doing is screaming. Um, I, just, I just wanted to call him. I wanted to find out that it was a joke. And I'm still waiting for the punchline. Dukes tells Channel 3 his wife and the rest of the family are also waiting for answers, with few details being released during the ongoing investigation into his death. New Hope police, who responded to the accident, could only confirm that a forklift was involved. I know my dad's gone. She knows her husband's gone. But we don't know what took him. Hoping closure will come soon, both his biological and fire department family are focused on honoring his legacy of service to others. We are retiring his badge number. And saying a last goodbye. If you needed something or someone, he was there. To the man who never met a stranger. Our statement from Lodge Cast Iron reads in part, we are committed to being as transparent as possible and sharing information as we can. A spokesperson for TOSHA tells us that an investigation into an incident like this one can take anywhere from two to four months to complete and that they do not comment on ongoing investigations. Now, there is a viewing scheduled for tomorrow, which is open to the public. That will begin at 1 p.m. tomorrow. And then on Sunday, there is a processional scheduled to start at 1 p.m. And then the funeral is set to begin at 2 o'clock. If you're interested in helping the family, you can find a link to a GoFundMe page by clicking on the story inside the WRCB app. We're now live in South Pittsburgh tonight. Joy Dukes, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.